What are some things to remember when you walk into an immigration court? Hi, my name is Maliha Hug. I am an immigration lawyer practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I wanted to make a quick video to discuss what are the ways that you can present yourself in the best way when you walk into an immigration courtroom. So what is an immigration courtroom? Immigration court is when the Department of Homeland Security brings proceedings against you to remove you from the United States. And these proceedings are conducted in, in an immigration court. There is an immigration judge who makes a decision on whether you get to remain in the United States or whether, or whether you should be ordered to be removed from the United States or deported from the United States. So the immigration courtroom is a proceeding or a hearing where that matter is discussed and eventually the judge makes a decision on it. So when you walk into an immigration courtroom, it is an extremely serious situation. You uh, either get to remain in the United States or you don't. So there are some things to remember when you go in on how to present yourself. So the first thing to remember is you must tell the truth in court. The judge and the government attorney are there to make sure that everything you say is, is the truth. And you will be asked a lot of questions when you are in the court. So that's another thing to remember is in answering those questions, you must have in mind what you're going to say. So it's always a good idea to kind of practice beforehand on the types of questions you might be asked and how to answer them. So with my clients, we always go through kind of a mock trial where I pretend to be the government attorney or pretend to be the judge and question them on their situation in the United States, their situation in their home country, and why they think they should get to stay in the US. So we practice beforehand so that when my clients go into the courtroom, they know what to expect. So that's the first thing, you must tell the truth to every question that you could be asked. The other thing, of course, is you have to dress properly for a courtroom. Uh, if you have a suit, you should wear a suit. If you don't, that's okay. Just make sure your clothes are clean, that they are not torn or ripped. Whenever you walk into a courtroom, the judge is already having an impression of you. So you wanna put your best foot forward and, and present yourself well, okay, when you walk into the court. So one other thing that you must keep in mind is you should look at the person that is talking to you. So whether it's your own attorney asking the question, whether it's a government attorney, whether it's the judge, look at them when you answer them. And you must address the judge as your honor. And the government attorney, you can address them as sir or ma'am. But basically you want to talk with respect, you want to look at them. And uh, of course you must tell the truth and anticipate what questions you're going to be asked and practice them beforehand. Like I said, I have represented many, many people in immigration court. Uh, it's, it's a daunting experience for a lot of my clients. It's, it's not um, something to be taken lightly. Uh, however, if you are ready and prepared and you know what you're going to say and you present yourself well and respectfully, uh, a lot of times the outcome can be quite positive. So. If you are in immigration court proceedings and you need help going to the courtroom and, and presenting your case, definitely give us a call, 415-895-0661. Thank you.